Hello, cello, bonjourno. Am I the asshole for going to my birthday dinner without my husband when he wasn't ready on time? Okay. It was my 40-year-old female, 40th birthday a few days ago, and we had a reservation for a table at a nice restaurant for 7 p.m. It takes about 20 minutes to drive to the restaurant, so I plan to leave the house at 6.30 p.m. to build in time for traffic and picking up my father. My husband, 43-year-old male, had decided to do a bit of work on his car about half an hour before we needed to leave. Okay. At 6.30, when the kids and I were waiting by the door, he was still doing it. He hadn't changed and hadn't showered. I told him to quickly get ready, but I have to go at 6.50. And he still wasn't ready yet, so I decided to just leave without him. He has a habit of always running late when we go out, and he is always the last one to be ready. Normally, I can tolerate it since he only sets things back by 10 minutes at the most, but my birthday dinner was important to me, and I had been looking forward to it for weeks. Making us wait for 20 minutes was taking the mick. What does taking the mick mean? I feel like I've heard somebody say that before, but I don't actually know what it translates to. British. Like taking the piss, like fucking around. So I yelled out that we were leaving and left because I didn't want to lose the table since we would have arrived about 7.20. I called the restaurant to let them know we'd be late and we'd luckily sell out our table. But my husband didn't show up at the restaurant and when we got home, he was mad at me. Oh, he just didn't show up at all? What do you mean? I told him that I was tired of him not respecting my time and always making people wait for him and that he could have made his own way to the restaurant. My father agreed with my decision to leave without him, but my kids were a little upset that he wasn't there to have dinner with us. Well, of course the kids are me upset. They don't really understand the nuances of your dad being a fucking dickhead. So am I the asshole? So uh, before we decide on that, here are some relevant comments. When you say the kids were upset, do you mean they were upset with him or with you? I hope him. Yes, the kids were upset because my husband wasn't ready and because I was stressing. They thought he didn't want to spend any time with us. They have been personally let down by him when it comes to things like picking them up from a friend's house. Ooh. Ooh, he sounds just like he's shitty. Is he late for things he wants to do or other things? He is always out of the house on time for work, and yesterday he went to the pub with some friends and wasn't late for that. He tends to only be late for things that's including the family. Ooh, fuck this guy. Damn. Damn. He is always late when it comes to family plans. It's rarely this bad, though. It's normally things like getting changed, and when it hits the time, entering the leave, he grabs his keys in his wallet. It's no sense of urgency, but he still makes it out. I was a stay-at-home mom until a few years ago. He changed when I went back to work, although I don't understand how that would affect his time management unless there's a different reason for him being late. Damn. Did he know when you were supposed to leave? He was well aware of when we needed to leave. I always give everyone 30-minute warning, and it was in the diary for weeks. In the diary? Does that mean, like, the calendar? Is that another British term? Does he have ADHD? It's also a good, a good thing to ask. I don't think he has ADHD. He was on time for things until a few years ago with the occasional exception. He is on time for work and his own plans that don't include the family. So that's the only thing. When I was thinking this, I was like, damn, I'm kind of like an ADHD kind of whatever. But she asked him multiple times and it's like, it's the birthday. That's not an excuse at that point. And even if it was, how can you be late for all the things, including the family, but then on time, the stuff that you actually value? It's like, it's just very disrespectful. And if this is a pattern that you've been talked about multiple times, then that's on you. At a certain point, like, yeah, may maybe you have ADHD, but it, it becomes negligence. Like, you're not even trying to help it. Even if he has ADHD, that's no excuse. I have severe unmedicated ADHD and I can still be on time the things that are important to me, you know, like my wife's birthday. Yeah, same. Like I am usually 10 to 15 minutes late for almost everything because um, I don't know how to estimate time properly. I'll even start like three, four hours early sometimes and I still somehow end up not being ready on time. I feel like I have the whole day. Like it's, it's brutal. Commodore, not the asshole. You're already late when you left. If you waited any longer, you wouldn't have had a table. Thus no birthday party. When you got home, you should have torn him a new one for deliberately trying to sabotage your birthday party. Put him on the defensive where he should be for this behavior. Really though, when your husband decided to do some work on his car, you should have said, no, you're not doing that. You're going upstairs and getting ready to leave with us. That's a totally predictable problem. Bro, he didn't seem to want to celebrate his wife's birthday at all. Like, first of all, so she made she made all the plans. She got everybody ready. And while he's just like working away in the car, it's her fucking 40th birthday. It's not even just her birthday. It's her 40th birthday. Like, that's a huge milestone, especially for a woman. So like, what the fuck? Fuck this guy. You know what? Fuck this guy completely. And they have children. She planned her whole own birthday and he can't even show up to it or leave on time for her to drive him to it. In general, you should stop tolerating his lateness. When you do that, it gets worse, not better. I brought it up multiple times before, but nothing has changed. I do admit that I can be a pushover when it comes to waiting for him, but I'm sick of having to put other things on hold in order to check if he's ready and being late to family plans. He was late for my mother's funeral last year. And after this birthday incident, I've decided not to give him any more leeway and start standing up for myself. Bro, God. 
good. Oh, there's an update. <gasps> update, two weeks later. Update, spicy update. I really, Macau, please, can we please just get like a, a over the top, just <laughs> This was March 3rd. This was so recently. This was two weeks after this post. Firstly, and most importantly, thank you so much for all the support and advice. It really means a lot to me. Since so many of you would help me out, I thought I would give an update on how things have been over the past couple weeks. My eldest had a school football match last week, a few days after I posted my original post. I planned for us to leave at 5 p.m. and as per my resolution to not tolerate his tardiness anymore, left at 5 p.m. without my husband since he wasn't ready again. Just like with my birthday dinner, he didn't show up. My youngest and I had a lovely time watching the match and supporting my eldest. He even scored a goal and won, and his team won. Scored a goal and his team won. That's fucking great. Awesome. They need to throw out the whole dad. Last week, I met up with a couple of friends to catch up over lunch, and both my sons were going to their friend's birthday party the same day. My husband was in charge of dropping them off since my thing began about an hour before the party. I told him a week in advance the day before and before I left the house that they needed to get the kids to the party on time. I even followed the advice of some comments from my original post and told him that the party began at 1230 instead of 1 p.m. so that the kids wouldn't be late if my husband wasn't ready to leave on time. At 1.30, I got a call from the birthday boy's dad asking if my sons were still coming to the party. And I also saw that I had a missed call from my eldest. My husband had not taken them. I rang him several times and he would not pick up. So I called my eldest and he answered the phone in tears. He said their dad was doing work on his car again and when the kids asked him to take them to the party, he yelled at them and called them whiny brats. Oh! Oh my God. Oh my God, he's horrible. I said goodbye to my friends and went home to take my kids to their party. They were an hour late. He didn't care that the kids have... <sighs> okay. They were an hour late. He didn't care that the kids felt humiliated and missed a good deal of the party, which also meant that their friend was upset with them. Something inside me snapped and I decided I was done. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh my God. Please say that you left. Your comments have put my marriage and my husband's behavior into perspective and opened my eyes. I've had a look at some of the literature and such that some of you recommended and have talked to my dad about what to do next. I spoke to the kids as well about the very possibility of their father and I splitting up. Oh, 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 that's crazy that you were just like, oh, I went right to my kids. That's a little OK. OK, OK. But, you know, queen, still queen. OK, they weren't completely happy about it, which is understandable, but they agreed that it was the right decision. They said they had felt scared of their father on several recent occasions and didn't trust him anymore which was heartbreaking for me to hear and realize. That's so bad. I haven't been happy for a while and neither have the kids I now realize. In addition to my husband's being late or not showing up at all, there are other issues in a relationship and you've helped me a lot realize the truth about this treatment of our family and given me the strength I need to put a stop to it. I can no longer justify his behavior or make excuses for him. Along with being late to my mother's funeral, he offered no emotional support when she died to either me or the kids, which should have been enough to make me seriously consider my marriage, but I'm glad it's finally happening now. A couple days ago, I told my husband how I felt and sent him my original post. To be honest, I have no interest in marriage counseling. I just want to move on with my life. But I suggested he look into therapy for himself. What? I explained that it didn't feel like he was part of the family anymore and that our sons and I were struggling with the strain in our marriage. And I'm sure that he has too. It's not healthy environment for me, my sons, or my husband. And I can't let my kids miss out because their father's incompetence any longer. I told him that I want a divorce, as I'm sure many of you predicted, which he accepted. He told me that he no longer wants any involvement in anything to do with the family and he will move out ASAP. My sons and I will go about our lives and the soon-to-be ex-husband will go about his. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders and you're all my heroes and I will forever be grateful. Thank you. He just went, okay, I'm packed. Later. Like, what do you... He said, yeah, no, I really don't want to be, I don't really don't want to have a family. He was doing the thing where he just act really, really, really shitty until the wife left at her own volition. Probably was cheating. He was cheating for sure. Yeah, definitely cheating. What a son of a bitch. 100%, 100% not the asshole, obviously. That's fucking crazy. Weaponized incompetence. Oh, what a coward. What a small penis little coward. He quiet quit being a husband and a father. Literally, he quiet quitted. Oh, he quit quietly. Probably going to find 
a way to tell his friends it was her fault? Oh, 100%. Small British PP taking the mick. So you are... Ah, not the asshole. OP is definitely not the asshole. But goddamn, your fucking husband on the other hand? Ex-husband now? Asshole. Asshole. Horrible. Dirtbag. I fucking hate him. Am I the asshole for telling my mom and dad that they have to get their noses pierced if they want to see my daughter again? Huh? This should be interesting. This should be interesting. My husband and I traveled down to Mexico to visit with my family. I'm an American citizen. My mom and dad are not. My mom and dad got my daughter earrings for her birthday. My daughter's ears are not pierced. She is only one years old. I told them that I would save them for her until she was old enough to get her ears pierced. Uh-oh, I can already see where this is going. We left my daughter with my parents while we went to meet up with my friends. And when we went to pick up my daughter, my mom showed us that we didn't need to wait because they had already taken her to get her ears pierced. I got my daughter and I dragged my husband out of there before he lost his shit. We went back to our hotel. I'm furious. My husband said that my parents are not allowed to spend time alone with my daughter ever again. It went further. I said that I will not be bringing her or any of the kids we might have down there to see my parents. We checked out three days early and we went home. On the way home, my parents were calling me to see when we were coming over. I ignored all the calls and texts until we were back home in Phoenix. We took a couple days to think things over and cool down. I finally called them. I asked them not to speak until I was done talking. I told them that my husband and I are upset with them for getting our baby's ears pierced without our permission. I told them that we went back home and probably wouldn't be visiting for a while. They said that my sister and I both had their ears pierced when we were babies and it did not harm us. I said that we were not going to change our minds. They started getting everyone, including my grandmother, call me and say that I was being ridiculous. I talked with my husband and we came up with a compromise. We agreed that we would resume visits, but not alone time with them if they both got their noses pierced. They said that we are being stupid and they are not going to do that. I said no problem and hung up. We both have started blocking anyone who tries to call us and give a shit for denying my parents their right to see my daughter. What a fucking win. Um, okay. Is, is, is it petty? Yes. Yes, it is. But it's fucked up that they even did that. I, it, it's, it's entitled grandparents thinking they can do whatever the fuck they want. You can't decide to just pierce a child's ears. It's not your child. It's not your child and the parents didn't want to. 100% petty, 100% in the right though. Maybe their ears, not nose. No, nose because they already got their ears pierced and they don't give a shit about getting their ears pierced. Petty, yes, hilarious, yes. Like literally though, they better pray those lobes don't adjust and become uh, become uneven. Literally though, literally though. But yeah, definitely I'm gonna say that uh, OP is not the asshole, but the grandparents definitely are. They have no right to go and get your child's ears pierced. Like you're literally piercing them. They're putting a hole in your child's body. It's stood humor. Where is the humor? Stood humor. Where is the humor? You spelled it two different ways. What does that mean? Are you saying that I'm supposed to be funny? I'm not. <laughs>